Hey friends, today I'm going to be talking about the Lion King direct -to video sequels. Let's start with one and a half. I love the concept of this movie. It's so fun and charming. This is how you do meta. This is an embarrassment. Despite being a comedy, this movie has its fair share of heartfelt moments and I think it balances out real well. I just love how we get more insight in Timon's life since we already got Pumbaa's in the first movie. We even get to see Timon's mom, who's played by Marge Simpson. Well, something's different about Timon. Homer. 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 That's it, that's the one. While there are a few fart jokes here and there, the comedy in this movie is actually really funny. This movie is definitely one of Disney's funnier direct-to-video sequels. Yes, even including Lilo and Stitch too. If you haven't seen this movie, this is basically an origin story on how Timon and Pumbaa met and came to be in this movie. Timon moves away from home because he feels like a screw-up with the other meerkats and he wants more out of his life. And Pumbaa is all alone and wants somebody to talk to. This movie really, really works, except for one little inaccuracy. To know what I'm talking about, look at this clip from the original movie. He's gone back. Gone back? What do you mean? Hey! What's going on here? Who's the monkey? But in this movie, Timon is already very well aware of who Rafiki is. Though it kinda is made up for because Michael Rat and Stitch show up at the end. So that's pretty epic. The Lion King 1.5 is genuinely great. I really enjoyed this movie. Those couple of flaws really don't hurt this movie at all. This is a really fun comedic movie that you should watch after Lion King 1 and I would highly recommend it. Go watch it. Now let's talk about The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Yeah, it was okay. The pacing for this movie is kind of all over the place, and this is not really all that much of an entertaining movie. I got kind of bored at times. The animation is pretty good, though kind of inconsistent sometimes, just like with Little Mermaid 2, but it's not bad at all. One really disappointing aspect of this movie is that Timon and Pumbaa barely have anything to do. They are rarely in the movie. Yeah, they babysit Kiara when she's a little kid, but like, they really don't have anything to do when she becomes an adult really early in the movie. And that's in the first 15-20 minutes. Simba also doesn't do much, despite the movie being titled Simba's Pride. Though to be fair, he did have the entire first movie to himself, so sure. Despite the majority of the movie focusing on Kiara's love for Kovu, they really do not have that much chemistry until they start stargazing somewhere in the middle of the movie. But that's really about it. They don't have that much chemistry at all in this movie, which is kinda odd considering this is supposed to be a love story. Okay, besides the animation, I can really praise the movie. The song Upendi really slaps, it's so catchy. And the visuals of this song are so good and cartoony, I love it. I also really appreciate how dark this movie gets, especially for a direct-to-video Disney sequel. It is somewhat lighthearted for half the time, sure, but that other half gets real dark real quick. In conclusion, Lion King 2 Simba's Pride is pretty okay. When the good aspects work, they really work, but when the worst aspects don't work, they really don't work. I feel bad because I really don't hate this movie at all. I don't even dislike it. I just find it to be a mid movie that is kind of worth watching, but I also would not really recommend it personally. This is probably the weakest Lion King movie aside from the remake. Ah! I'll see y'all later. I hope you like this video. Also kittens. Simba. <laughs>